always review on. But this one says, what is 13% of 60? All right, now some of you might immediately say, oh, well, we can just multiply that. You know, 13% convert as a decimal and multiply by 60. However, I do want to warn you guys, we will not have your calculators again for this test. So we're going to want to make sure we understand this. Now, before even thinking about initially what you could do or what you might have learned before, what I really want to make sure that, Sierra, that you understand about this is that there, there's a proportion that we're going to use. Because you might know how to do this problem or how to set it up, but we want to make sure we can set up the proportion so we can always verify what we are doing. So when we're talking about percents as far as ratios, percents as far as ratios, we're always looking this as a part over a whole. It's a part over the whole. That is what we're dealing with our compare our ratio we're dealing with. But a percent is a special type of ratio. It is a part over a whole, but the whole is always going to be 100%. Okay? So, when we're talking about a ratio, it's always part over whole, right? How much do you have? Do you have, you know, five girls out of, yeah, that's a tough one, five girls out of, you know, 10 kids in the class, right? Um, but when we're talking about percents as a ratio, it's always going to be out of 100%. Now, so if you guys look at this problem, we are automatically, you always have 100%. When you look at this problem, do we have two other portions that we have? Do we have two other values we could plug in? Well, we know what 13%, that has to be the part percent, right? And what is 13% of 60? That has to be the part or the whole? So, now we have part over whole. So let's, instead of writing part, let's just leave that as x. But at least hopefully you guys understand what that represents. Now, there's a couple different ways to go about this. But obviously, ladies and gentlemen, when you have a proportion, we can always apply the cross product. So I have x, or 100, times x percent equals 60 times 13%. Now, there's a couple different ways we could do this. All right, um, We could multiply 13 times 60. Or I'm sorry, 60 times 13. And that would give us our new percent. So if I did that, I'd do 3 times 0 is 0. 3 times 6 is 18. Add the 0 as my placeholder. 1 times 0 is 0. 1 times 6 is 6. 0, 8, um, 7. So therefore, I would have um, yes. So therefore, I would have seven hundred and eighty percent is equal to a hundred x percent. Then I would divide, huh? Nope. I'll get to it. Just a second. So then I would divide by a hundred percent on both sides. It's very difficult, though, when I see that people are not writing um, this down. So obviously, 100% going through. So I have 780% divided by 100%. Now, for those of you that are in physics or you know, chemistry or anything like that, you've dealt with um, your units. And when you have a unit divided by, they're going to divide out, right? So therefore, Think about this. Remember when we were talking about scientific notation? When we multiply by like 100, you move the decimal point over to, right? Yes. So if I'm going to be dividing by 100, the decimal point is 780. It's right here. So if I'm dividing by 100, it's going to be 7.8. So therefore, x equals 7.8. All right? Not, it's not a percent. The percents have divided out. But, ladies and gentlemen, all right, I'll be moving. I'm just waiting for her to have some attention on some students. The next thing that I want to do is I want to show you, though, a different way. All right? Because another thing which a lot of you, especially when you have a calculator, when you're allowed to have a calculator, the easiest thing to really understand is just multiply your percents times your whole number. Right? That's really basically all you're doing. So one thing you could do is, you see how I got rid of the percents by dividing out the 100% on both sides? You can also get rid of your percents by simply just 
moving over, dividing by 100. So therefore, I'm multiplying 60 times 0.13. So then, as we talked about, how do you multiply decimals by fractions, or decimals by whole numbers? Then I can just do 0, 0, 0, 18. Put in my placeholder, 0, 0, 0, 6. That's 78, 1, 2, 3. And then remember we count 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Get the exact same answer. All right? So you guys can obviously do multiplication with your whole numbers. You can obviously do multiplication with your whole numbers, divide by 100%. Or you could also just realize that I need to multiply this by these two, and then I can convert. Okay? So I just want to give you guys a couple options for that. Obviously.